Singapore has taken a historic step towards striking down a law that criminalizes gay sex. A bill tabled in Parliament today to amend the penal code will pave the way for a debate on the issue next month. At the same time, another bill has been introduced to change the Constitution to protect the definition of marriage. Both bills will be voted on separately. Back to introduce a bill entitled an act to repeal 377A of the Penal Code 1871 and to make consequential amendments to that code and certain other acts. Penal Code Amendment Bill. Second reading, what day? At an available sitting on 28 November 2022, sir. So be it. Minister for Social and Family Development. Mr. Speaker, I beg to introduce a bill entitled An Act to Amend the Constitution of the Republic of Singapore. Constitution of the Republic of Singapore Amendment Number 3 Bill. Second reading, what day? At an, at an available sitting on 28th November 2022. So be it. Section 377A of the Penal Code is a legacy of British colonial rule since 1938. It took nearly 70 years before the first attempt to strike it down. In 2007, then nominated MP Siu Kam Hong filed a citizens' petition to repeal this in Parliament. After a two-day debate where 14 MPs spoke, Section 377A remained. The government said the society was not yet ready at the time, but it also said that the law would not be proactively enforced. Then in 2009, the first annual event in support of Singapore's LGBT community was held at Hong Lim Park. Called Pink Dot, the repeal of 377A was a key focus of the movement. A series of legal challenges were also mounted to declare Section 377A unconstitutional between 2010 and 2018. All of those were unsuccessful. Enter this year, August 2022, the National Day Rally. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Lung announced that Section 377A would be repealed. He said attitudes towards homosexuality have shifted appreciably. I believe this is the right thing to do and something that most Singaporeans will now accept. This will bring the law into line with current social mores and I hope provide some relief to gay Singaporeans. But it also goes beyond changing attitudes. The other reason for the repeal is that after a recent judgment, the Minister for Law and the Attorney General gave the advice that there was a significant risk of Section 377A being struck down in future court challenges. This on the grounds that it breaches the Equal Protection Clause in Article 12 of the Constitution. At the same time, an amendment to the Constitution has been introduced to protect the existing definition of marriage that's between a man and a woman. The aim is to protect the definition of marriage and its related laws and policies from being challenged in the courts. The government says that's because even with the repeal of Section 377A, most Singaporeans still want current family and social norms to stay. The introduction of Article 156 into the Constitution clarifies that Parliament has the powers to make laws to define and safeguard the institution of marriage. It also spells out that the government and public authorities may put in place measures which promote the institution of marriage. The amendment also protects laws and policies related to the current definition of marriage from being invalidated under the Constitution. The bill does not enshrine the definition of marriage into the Constitution. In a recent case, the Court of Appeal declined to rule on whether Section 377A breaches Article 12 of the Constitution, which guarantees all persons equality be before the law and equal protection of the law. This highlighted the possibility of other laws and policies related to marriage and family being challenged on similar grounds. These include HDB's housing policies, adoption laws 
and media regulations.